Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, one of the clinical audiologists and part of the ownership team here with Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Earwax Removal Vlog number 65. In today's episode, we're going to take a look back at a wax removal that I filmed several months ago. No, this is not a repeat video. It's just a wax removal I never finished putting together in video form. This earwax removal has a patient who is severely impacted and the earwax is very soft, meaning that the curette, the manual tool here, is going through it like a hot knife through butter and it's not really coalescing around the curette, allowing us to bring out in large chunks. We did talk to this patient about possibly using microsuction. They declined as they were a longtime patient who really enjoys seeing the manual tool work and they also like the feeling of irrigation. In fact, they had been using Debrox, the drops for their ears, and hoped that that Debrox would soften the wax to the point that it would come out very easily. Now, this is not my preference. I prefer when patients don't use Debrox prior to coming in to see us because when the wax is more tacky and solid, we're able to pull it out in a larger chunk. In this case, they were using Debrox, but they were not using the proper irrigation after use of the drops. Remember, Debrox does not actually eliminate wax. All it does is soften it and make it so when you irrigate, it comes out more easily. You can see after a little bit of irrigation, we had a change in the color of the earwax and a lot more moving towards the aperture of the ear. Here we go again, a little bit more irrigation, and you can see that that wax really came out of the ear canal quite a bit. We're gonna use the curette and try to get back behind as much of this as possible to get the ear cleaned out and relieve this patient's uh, fullness and pressure that they're experiencing. And there we go. We can actually see the eardrum, but we do have a little bit of wax in front that we wanna get rid of. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any topics that you want to see in future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. All right, now we can take a look. We can see all the way down to the eardrum and this patient's pressure and hearing loss have abated. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.